Good morning, students. Welcome to your social studies class. Today we are going to continue lesson number three, climate, with a recap of the lesson. Dear students, I have told you about the climate, which is a weather condition for a long period of time, like seasons. Then I have told you about some of the factors that affect climate, like rainfall, as it decreases the temperature and increases the plant plant's growth. Temperature of any area depends on the height as well as the higher the place, lower is the temperature. Then I have discussed the four climatic zones of Pakistan and the weather forecast that means to predict weather before time. And it is helpful in our daily lives as it helps to make proper arrangements for the people. Now let's start today's lesson. Can you see here some of the pictures of the different types of clouds? Have you ever observed that there are different formations of clouds in the sky? So, what type of formation of clouds can you see right now in the sky? Today I'm going to tell you about the some weather tools which we use to prepare the weather report. For example, if it is sunny or cloudy, we measure the temperature using a tool called thermometer. Thermometer is used to measure the temperature in Fahrenheit and Celsius. Next is rain gauge. It's a tool to measure the rain in millimeters as rain falls in a measuring clear glass container that helps to measure the rain. Snow is also can be measured using a ruler. As it is bored in the snow, then we can see that how high is the snow? Like three inches. We can also measure the speed and the direction of the wind. So there are two types of tools which we use. In wind vane, we can measure the direction of the wind. An anemometer is a tool to measure the speed of the wind. Now here you can see a picture of barometer. It is also a tool which we use to measure the pressure of the air in the atmosphere. Another important tool measures amount of the humidity is hygrometer. It is used to measure the amount of humidity means water vapors in the air, soil or atmosphere. Now let's have a review of today's discussed points. As you can see some of the statements with the blanks here, now you have to think about the right answers. There are dash types of clouds. Yes, you have seen the pictures as well. Yes, there are three types of clouds. Next is the dash of wind is measured using anemometer. While discussing about the direction and the speed of the wind, then I have told you that the wind wind is the tool which we use to measure the direction. And whereas anemometer is used for measuring the speed of the wind, yes. Come to the next one that is dash is a tool to measure amount of rainfall. So I have shown you a gauge that is used to measure amount of rainfall that is called rain gauge. Next is temperature can be measured using a dash. That's easier for you. Yes, you know very well that is a thermometer. Come to the last one that is dash in the air is measured using a hygrometer. So I have told you that a hygrometer is used to measure the water vapors or the amount of humidity. So. Correct answer is humidity. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. That's all from my side. Thank you.